Hi, today we are going to have an overview of the new Stochastic Mode, a generative sequencer in which you can easily set up evolving melodies and rhythmic patterns. Let them mutate at different rates or capture them. As you may know, Oxy1 offers four sequencer slots in which you can load any sequencer mode available depending on your needs. So far, we have mono, poly, chord, and multitrack modes. Now we are introducing a radically different mode. In this mode, you don't have a piano roll view to enter notes on the grid like the rest of the modes. Let's load one and jump right in. In this mode, the first 12 columns represent a note on the selected scale from low to high. You can see we are on chromatic scale. All columns are lit. Let's change that and see what happens. The columns light up showing the notes available for the selected scale. Now, each column represents the probability of that note being played. It's zero by default. Let's do something about it. This is how it sounds with a low value. And this is what happens with probability at 100%. Notice that the playhead moves, but it doesn't interact with the columns like in the other modes. It shows the speed and length of our sequence. Let's make it a little bit more interesting by adding some notes. As you can see, they light up when they are being played back. Let's move to the right columns. This one here sets the octave range of the notes played. Going up and down, we'll add one octave per pad, as you can see on the screen. Remember that the second encoder changes the global octave of our sequence, so you can adjust to match the range of your synth or drum rack. Next column adjusts the rhythmic variation or time division, strictly speaking. It will change the speed of the playhead randomly in the set range. Up to get faster speeds and down to get lower. Getting triplets or not from the engine can be configurable. The next two columns are more unique. When they are at maximum value, all the notes on the sequence are being randomized by the parameters we just set. At minimum, no notes are being randomized. That means we have just captured the last played pattern. This column affects only the pitch, and this one affects only the rhythm so you can effectively lock the rhythm and randomize the pitch or the other way around lock the pitch and randomize the rhythm The values in between sets the percentage of notes being affected by the stochastic engine This means, for example, we can lock our rhythm and leave only few notes introducing pitch variations we like this one, we lock it, and let the rhythm evolve slowly. So that's the basics of a stochastic mode. We will now introduce more advanced workflows with a stochastic mode. If you like what you have captured, you can copy and paste the created sequence to a monopoly or multitrack. Looping parts of the pattern is possible by holding init and end buttons at once. Tap on any of them to leave the loop. We have also something new to show that it's available for the rest of the sequencer modes, and that is Velocity Curve. By tapping on the Velocity Encoder, you will see the velocity values per step in the current sequence. You guessed it, it's time to draw. Now the new nodes generated follow the values on the grid. Getting back to the main screen, the Velocity Encoder now acts as a global offset of the velocity range. You can change the gate of the notes with the third encoder. This will also have some effect on the pitch glides for the control voltage outputs. What's even more interesting is that we have all the random parameters working on top of the stochastic mode. So of course we can randomize velocity, octave, here acting as an offset of the grid settings, Trick probability in which this mode becomes a density control. And chance of retrigger.
Another nice trick for this mode is to use the LFO to affect pitch, playing alternative notes outside the grid settings and within the scale. Or you can set the LFO to parameter. In this case, it modulates the note probability set on the grid, mutating the melody to a different path. All the notes and parameters of the stochastic sequencer, that is your recipe, can also be saved as patterns, as well as modulation, randomization, and LFO data. This way we made possible to use a stochastic mode on the arranger, so you can add a generative section to your song. So that's it for stochastic mode, now it's your time to show us what you can make with it. Thank you for watching.